Yo, what's up, people? What up? I would like to do something cool with you guys, which is a live vocal analysis. So, if you would like to send me, if you would like to join in on me, right, join in with me and be a part of my live chat right now, um, I'm gonna send you a link so I can talk to you on my other phone and you can be a part of this live chat right now. So I just want to figure out how to type my email here. Hmm. Share mute microphone. Huh. Let me, let me see. Live chat. Hey guys. So I can't I can't see how to um, how to type for some reason. I was pretty sure I could type here. Huh. Damn. Top chat, live chat, all messages are visible. Damn it, I can't figure it out, guys. Man. Anyway, what I was saying is, if you email me right now, I'll send you a link to join in with me here on Zoom. So it's just a link that you click and I'll send you the link and you can join the meeting with me. We can listen to your voice and um, I can analyze your vocals and give you some tips. So it's like a free mini lesson, all right? Or uh, if you have a question that you want to ask about your voice or something like that, you can ask that question here, okay? So email rashedh at hotmail.com. So it'll be R-A-C-H-E-D-H at hotmail.com. Uh, I can't write it now, but yeah, R-A-C-H-E-D-H at homo.com. There won't be video, it'll just be, I'll just put it as audio, okay? So, but just so you know, people will hear you in the um, chat, so your voice will be transferred, will be going through this microphone. I've never done this before, I thought it'd be really cool, I watched some things where they do live call-ins and stuff. And uh, I, I kind of enjoyed it. And um, I'm not in my home studio because this is, I don't have much time when I'm at home to do this kind of thing. But I have time on my lunch break now, today. I don't have a lesson today. So I thought it would be fun to try this. So yeah, um, I'm just checking my emails to see who's sending. Oh, error. That doesn't look good. Huh. I don't know if my email is updating. Let's see. Is it working? Huh. Let me try to send myself an email. R A C H E D H at hotmail.com okay guys r a c h e d h at hotmail.com oh there we go i just got one from yeltsin let me just read your emails quickly just give you shout outs hey mark hey mark uh Zaral, mark dilbert thank you showbiz viral be the beater hi from philippines kenjolan wafu fao Hey, you know, Shabby's viral, yo. Uh, Paolo, Rafael, Hamelin, Mark, do but coach, please do a PhD on a spiral on a waterfall run. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, 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 there you go, there's a spiral one. PhD. So, honey, nah. So, honey, now and a waterfall. Ooh, there you go. 
I love the terminology. I love it. Thanks, Mark Dubit. All right, I got your message. Let's try this, yeah? Um, be the beta. Rolando, what's up? Raphael. Watching a live video again. Hey, Renzo. Done. Okay. Be the beta, you done it? I can't see you here. I can only see one so far. Uh, nice to meet you. Hey. What's good, Jimmy? All right. Let's try this. Let's see if I can figure this out. Hang, hang on for a second, guys. Let me try to learn how to do this. Invite, copy URL. Reply. Paste. All right, I'm excited. Anton Antenna Cruz. Yeah, I do want to watch him. I haven't watched him in a while. He's incredible. Okay, I've sent that Yeltsin. Do you think Dimash is the finest vocal technique ever? Um, I think he has a similar technique to other amazing artists, but the difference between him and other artists is his range is extremely high. Um, that's one big difference. Um, but there are some artists that have a very, very high vocal range as well. So um, maybe I just don't know, don't know them all off by heart. But I have seen other artists with incredible vocal range. But overall, it's, it's pretty special, the variety of things that he can do. All right, Yeltsin, did you get that? All right. <clears throat> no worries, Yanabatana. You don't speak English. <laughs> okay, you're gonna struggle in here then. <laughs> Lol. I'm always watching your videos, be the beater. I'm so nervous and shy anytime I sing in a lot of people. That's why I want to learn a lot from you. They said I have a good voice, but I can't show it. Okay. Well, maybe you could call in. Send me an email. Oh, you said you did, right? Hmm. I wonder if you got it. I wonder if I'm getting it. Let's see. Sent. Yeah, I definitely sent it to Yeltsin. Just waiting on you, bro. You're my first test person to see if this works. <laughs> and an amazing singer to be a test person. Sorry, this camera is not as good. It's uh, on my older phone. But, you know, I'm using my new phone to do the calls and stuff. So, it still works. Hi, Sonny James. Yeah, man, be the beater. Uh, the way to get over nervousness. <clears throat> It's just like any kind of training, it takes a lot of repetitions. So the more you try it, the easier it'll get. Okay, if you never try to sing in front of people, you'll never get better. You, you'll never get over that, that fear. So you do have to practice putting yourself in that situation where you sing in front of people. Now also, you know, it's not just repetitions. You could go into a gym and lift a very heavy weight and then hurt yourself. So you, there is a strategy involved. So you can be doing something gradual, so like easy to hard. So for example, singing in front of a lot of people might be hard, but you could start by singing in front of one person, or you could start by singing in front of the mirror, or singing, recording yourself singing on an audio, and then showing that to somebody. It's, it's less, it's ways to gradually put yourself into the harder situation, if you know what I mean. reinstall my zoom oh yeah do you need to install it i think it'll if it's on your phone you need to install it but if it's on a computer you don't need to install it i think but yeah i'm still here connected so what 
Where do I reside? I'm in Sydney, Australia. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's a bit cloudy today. <clears throat> From Brazil. Oh, yeah. Oh, your English is good enough that I understand it. From your typing, so I think you're all good. Clementine, also your lunch break, cool. Oh, my voice is a bit tired today. Ugh. We went out to salsa last night, there was a lot of yelling. <laughs> um, but I, I've been doing a lot of vocal practice as well. Been getting a lot better, guys. Been getting a lot better at my high notes. Uh, Better at everything, actually. I'm practicing a lot of stuff. I'm practicing my bounce runs. I'm practicing my high notes, my vibrato on my high notes. Learning new runs, practicing my run speed. Learning new songs, learning songs in different languages. Um, practicing my guitar timing. I always struggle with my timing when I'm singing, when I'm playing and singing. I always lose my timing on guitar. Uh, so I've been working on that. I've been working on a lot of stuff. Been making really good progress. I'm really happy with my progress. Thank you, Sonny James, for that lovely compliment. Do you, do you guys ever do like mouth stretches? Sometimes I do like facial. Apparently, we have a lot of face facial muscles, so it's good to stretch it. Like ah. Pretty much just make funny faces, right? <laughs> but it feels really good. <clears throat> it's okay, you still looking. Thank you, Bila Bila. My email again is uh, R A C H E D H at hotmail.com. So it's like Rachel but with a D instead of a L. R-A-C-H-E-D-H at hotmail.com hotmail is h-o-t-m-a-i-l dot com and I will send you a link to a meeting and you can sing for me or you can talk to me live and uh, ask me whatever questions you want and maybe I could do some vocal analysis and help you become a better singer hi Zilakari uh oh, it's starting to rain again. It's starting to rain. Is it? We'll see. I'm using a phone right now. Okay, all good. Yeltsin. <clears throat> Be the beater. Yeah, man. That's it. I will take a video of mine singing and show it to you. Good. You can do that too, yeah. Email it to me when I buy my own phone. Okay. I react. Yes, I will react to Dimash, Queen Medley. Last time I was checking on Chinese social media, you mentioned there. Oh, okay. In a good way, hopefully. <laughs> Bro, my wrists have been getting quicker. I want you to hear. Okay, Fernando. Let's do it, man. Get on the line. We'll talk for the first time. No reason, no name. Thanks, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, cool. Hi, Nike. All right, guys, I'm waiting for your emails. Getting famous, huh? <laughs> Lol. Okay, very good way. That's good. That's nice to hear. If you could link that to me, I'd love that. Hi, Ina Batana. I don't know if my email is slow. That's weird. It tell me I got emails, but they could be my old emails. Oh wait, I'm not in my inbox. That'll help if I go in my inbox. There we go. Got another one. Oh, you don't have to... You don't have to email me your questions, guys. You can just say it to me. Oh, here we go. Hey, Yeltsin. That's my email. Thanks, Clementine, for typing it. For some reason, I couldn't um, type it in here. You speaking, Yeltsin? 
Yeah, I've got a video there yes. too. Yeah, we go. Yeah. We just got Yeltsin on here. <laughs> uh, I don't got my video. Yeah, you can have your uh, video, video, but uh, yeah, I'll be sort of looking at you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay, let me just read the comments before I get back to you, Yeltsin. So just got Yeltsin on the line, an incredible singer. I'm happy, <laughs> I'm lucky to have Yeltsin on. Um, yeah, okay, well, let's talk for a bit and then we'll see um, what other emails I'll get. Uh, yes. I do have one other one from here. It looks like a question here. He says, what is a bouncing run? That's from Mark Dilbert. You know what a bouncing run is, um, Yeltsin? No, not, not so. Uh, I've not, uh, I don't have uh, ex uh, explored all the kinds of runs. Yeah. Um, well, I just call it a bouncing run because I couldn't, never found a, a, anyone mention the name of it before. So it's the run like, the one that sounds like this. Oh, you know that? Oh. So it's pretty much like um, just, up, it's just up and down really quick. So, oh, oh. But really fast. Oh, that's what it sounds like when it's fast. It almost sounds like vibrato. Yeah. Can you hear me, Yeltsin? I think you've got some connection issues there. <laughs> Hello, Yeltsin. All right, so that does that answer your question, Mark? So, yeah, it's uh, Yeltsin's connection is red, frozen. Let it go. So those runs are really hard to learn, right? Um, because it's super fast. And uh, Dimash does it when he does the in hello. He goes, ooh, 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 yeah, hello. Oh, oh, oh. Hear that? Oh, that sound. It's that super slow mo though. So um, yeah, I lost you, Yatsen. If you want to join again, man. There we go, joined again. That's the sound. It's really hard to learn, but the way you learn it, it's pretty much. Ooh, if you play the two notes on a keyboard, the white note and then the note that's right next to it, over and over. Ooh, 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 like over and over and over thousands of times over many many sessions you gradually get faster yeah Yeltsin's having a bad reception unfortunately <laughs> hope that answers your question Mark so that's what I call a bounce run uh, yes I do have some oh you're back yes. maybe your internet's slow because you're watching uh, me on the live stream I do have a network connection here uh, not so, uh, I'm using Zoom right now. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. What did you want to ask me, Yeltsin? <laughs> Hello? Uh, what, uh, no, what to ask for, so... No boats. Sorry? This is him, don't... So... Coach? Coach? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Coach? <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, yes, Rolando, you can send me audio. Yeah, so you can send me audio, yep, yeah, to my email. RashedH at hotmail.com. Yeah, Yeltsin, what's up? So that uh, do have, I do have network connections problem. Yeah. So I have to go outside our home. Yeah, it sounds much better now. Uh, excuse me, coach. Can you say it again? Yeah, it sounds much better. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
What do you want to work on or do or ask? Space Hey? Space again. Can you repeat it again? Yeah, I said, well, what do you want to ask? Uh, or show? You want to show uh, something? About uh, run improvement, so. Yeah? That will be. Yes, uh, the, the one that I have uh, sent it to you, the pronunciation. Yes, pronunciation? Yes. That was one of my biggest problems since I have told you that yeah. I have an uh, audition for a year. Unfortunately, I uh, didn't pass the audition, so yeah. I have uh, pulled down having an audition for a singing competition. Have I ever been in a singing competition? Uh, yes, I do have uh, some company events. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have for some company events. So, uh, unfortunately, with those two company events, I have won. Uh, like maybe it's uh, be, uh, being uh, the talent acquisition team is being sensitive uh, with uh, whom they want to have with on the national team. Okay. I can't hear, I can't understand you properly. Um, because the reception is cutting a little bit. But um, what did what did you wanna okay, okay. did you want help with your pronunciation while you're singing? Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, the clarity of the pronunciation. Okay. Uh, so I don't. Uh, I'm not uh, versed uh, well speaking. Yeah. Uh, singing may uh, it sometimes uh, sounds like. It is muted. Songs like what? Sounds like uh, do many. Ma, some some words have been muted. Something like that. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. You want to give an example? Hello. Yeah, hello. Oh, hello. Uh, see, oh. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, I will start in. Uh, Unbendedness. Uh, unbendedness. So oh, that unbendedness. will be uh, the right. Explain where do we lose our way? Will you drive me insane? And I know I just need one more chance to prove my love to you. Can't you? Come back to me, I'll guarantee that I let you go. Yeah, beautiful. You gonna keep going? Uh, I can't uh, hit it with, uh, with the original key, so just I have to. Do, yeah, just do it there. Uh, Can we go back to. Just do falsetto if you need I'll to. Oh, I, I'll try. Can we go back to the days our love was wrong? Yeah. Can you tell me how perfect love goes wrong? Yeah. Can somebody tell me how the good things back the way they used to be? Oh God, give me a reason. I'm down on the knee. That's so crazy, man. Oh, you sound so good. So good. I'm not hearing that many pronunciation things. It's like. Yes, that's my problem. No, that's my biggest problem. No, I mean, I'm not, I'm not hearing. I'm not really hearing um, the problem. Like, may maybe there was one word or two, but there wasn't like a lot of pronunciation problems. I don't know. What do you guys think? Can you hear pronunciation problems when he's singing? It's amazing, bro. Fire up. It's really nice, really creative. I loved it. It's good. Yeah, keep working on your, your upper range. Uh, uh, sometimes I feel it like uh, it's been pushed uh, so hard so that 
it sounds like a uh, strain. Yeah, strain. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's hard. You gotta. Especially on the part, uh, on the chorus part. Can somebody tell me how? That bit. Uh, can somebody tell me? Yeah, no, I can keep it with a full voice. Together, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that bit. Rapping, yeah, yeah. Like I do it in like in, instead of fully, because you're you're when you're fully belting with your chest, your big chest sound, it sounds really impressive. But I think if you're gonna learn to get the higher notes, you might have to learn to do it in a sound that's not as loud first. That's how I do it, like. Because I can't, I can't just belt it with my full loudness and sing that high. My voice won't go that high. So I have to modify it. You know what I mean? Like, did you see how I just did it? Yeah, yeah. Can, can somebody tell me how to get things back the way? Get things back the way. you like, that's not really loud. You notice that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's not as loud as... Can somebody see that? See, I'm doing that much louder because that's the lower part of the phrase, so I can do that really loudly. But if I'm gonna go all the way up, <laughs> I can't do it with the same volume as like, uh, and, and like, uh, when I open up my eyes, like, I can do that loudly, right? But, but when I get to the tell me how to get, I have to modify the volume. And do it with like, yeah. So, so I compensate it with a lower volume when I hit on that note. Yeah, but it's it's hard to find it and learn it because it's not falsetto. So, if I did falsetto, be like, can somebody tell me how to get things back? It's different, right? So you wanna you wanna go lower, kind of like how we did in our lesson. Remember how we did in our lesson that we did? Remember how, remember how we dropped the key? So like you drop the key, yeah. but when you drop the key, you don't just sing fully loud. You sing in like a lighter volume, just trying to hit those new high notes. So for example, let's try with that phrase. Without dropping the key, you go, because that's a good phrase because it goes up slowly. Can. So just do that. Can. Can. That's it. Use that volume as you go up. Instead of can, go can. Can somebody say? Oh, no. Yeah, but see, see, how, see how you're going quickly? You got to go very slowly to find the new place. So you go like, can somebody? Like you have to go on the part where you're feeling the strain, if you know what I mean. And, and hold it so you learn to hold it there without st straining as much. In a quiet voice, go. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try. Try it. Go. Can somebody tell me? Oh, no. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's good. That's that's the one. But don't stop. Hold the note, but try to do it quiet enough so that it's not about to break. Can somebody tell? So it might sound. Yeah, it might break a little bit, but that's all right then you have to find the place where it doesn't break. So it's like you have to sound bad before it sounds good, if you know what I mean. Okay, okay. To, to learn the new skill. Go. Can somebody... Oh, no, yeah, so I you're switching already, switching yeah. Thing. You're switching already. So <laughs> that, go there. Can somebody... somebody... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Good try. You notice how long I'm holding the note for? Yes. Yeah, yes, you, yes. I want, that's when I demonstrate it, that's what I want you to do as well. So try that. Can somebody say? Good, good. Okay, now I want you to hold each note for three seconds. Can somebody. Yeah. No vibrato. That's good. Yeah, no vibrato because when you're singing the note in the end, 
it's not going to have vibrato. Can somebody tell? You know what I mean? So you just want to practice holding it with no vibrato. Go. Can somebody Three seconds. Good. That's better. That's two seconds. Three seconds. And you can take a break between each note. Take a breath. Okay, okay. Can somebody Good, that's better. Oh, no. It's getting closer. That's it. Now, hold the note for. I know it's hard to, to get the idea of how long three seconds feels like, but this is how long it is. Ready? I'm going to look at my timer to demonstrate. Can two, three. That's three seconds. <clears throat> that's how long I want you to hold it for. Okay. Okay, okay. Can that's it. <clears throat> There it is, see? There on the bar, you're find, finding the weak spot, right? So hold that. So that's how you're going to strengthen that weak spot. <clears throat> ba Go. Ba 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 no, no, no. Three seconds. <laughs> Can some ba Can some ba Three seconds. That's almost three seconds. And some two, three. Good. Almost. That's two seconds. A bit longer. Two seconds. A little bit longer. Uh, can somebody? No, no, no. Yeah. Can some That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now D. Can somebody? Perfect. Well done. Next note. Can somebody can somebody tell? It's okay if you're gonna crack. Go quietly. Yeah. Start from the bottom. Start from the bottom. Start from the bottom. Yeah. Can somebody tell? That's it. That's it. See that? Use that. Use that break sound, the break feeling, and try it again. Try to just touch the note. Ta, ta, ta. Try to find it like that. That's it. Good. Again. That's it. I'm going. Close. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Go. Again. Can somebody tell? Yeah, he's switching. He's switching there. <laughs> It's good. It's good. Well, well, that might be too high for right now, but did you see how the other ones improved? Yes. The yes. can uh, the body body tell yeah the body that improved before it was hard and you weren't able to hold it. So it's very gradual. So ideally, what you can do is you go on a go on a piano, and start from the bottom. Start from like earlier, like lower. And then do like maybe four second holds or something on every note. Okay, okay. I promise you, if you just practice that regularly, you're gonna your voice is gonna get higher and higher. Yeah. Sure. Maybe uh, my full voice uh, will not is not uh, on that uh, high range uh, going to the bass. So. Yeah. I can hit that. Uh, so it will. maybe some of the time practice. Yeah. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Yeah. So this this way, at least you can measure and get an idea of um, like where your limit is. And then it'll gradually stretch and stretch. My voice wasn't, I couldn't sing this high before. Like and hold the notes like that or, or even dem even demonstrate how I am so it's definitely it's it's because I've learned to stretch it over yeah so just do it like it's only three or three to five minutes every day or every time you practice and do that at least for like 
50 times so maybe over like two months or three months just watch you will feel like a big sense of achievement when you start to feel a stretch but when you're learning when you're learning the new notes that's my main point i want to tell you you don't have to shout the new notes you know what i mean yes yes yes, yes. that's the main thing it's like there should be that breaky feeling and you have to learn to get through the break feeling a little bit so it's ah, watch watch listen to my break feeling I know it's, it doesn't sound nice, but you have to learn to create the new sound from there. Can somebody tell me how to get, get... See, I'm almost about to break, but I'm not breaking apart, so I'll go higher where I will break. Watch. Get... There, I'm starting to break. Get... And you got to like... I know it doesn't sound nice, but, but where your break is, that's what it's going to sound like. And you have to learn to sort of try to hold it two or three times and then that's enough that's enough you've done your training but the important thing is that you need to do the training of all of the notes before that for the four second holds and then you get to those new ones and you just try them three four times and then you're done that's what i mean you know i don't mean that suddenly it's gonna sound from a break to beautiful no but one two months later it will yeah all right, man. I'm going to go back into the stream. Okay, okay. Thank, uh, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye, coach. Bye. Yeah, you can just exit it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That's no, okay. Okay. Let's see what other emails I've got from you guys. Oh, no other emails. <laughs> okay, I'll read your messages. Uh, did you send something, Rolando? You probably got a good lesson out of that right there. That was a good lesson about hitting notes in high chest. Hi, Martin from Argentina. Fernando, yeah, the Middle Eastern trill. It's very similar. They do it a lot. It's like a bounce run. Uh, Clementine, by the way, I'll try to find it on that soon. Yes, please try to find that. I'm so curious about that, Clementine. Thank you. Apparently, I've been mentioned in Chinese social media. Bula from Fiji. Naimbaku Tubu. Nike. I enjoy your lesson so much, but I'm still having problems with my voice. Yeah. Hey, man. You know, I'm still learning, so it's normal to, to always be struggling even when you're getting lessons and when you're learning and you're practicing. So tell me what your question is, Nike, or send me your voice or get on a chat with me and uh, maybe get on a chat, get on a chat with me and I, maybe I can help you figure out what's up and help you improve. Am I going to do any one yay today? We just did on bended knee. When I open up my eyes to face reality Every moment without you, it seems like eternity I'm begging you, begging you, come back to me Oh, 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 oh. oh. Man, how good was Yeltsin, guys? Shit, man, Your, his runs and Oh, kills me. His pitch accuracy, so beautiful. I'm so jealous. So nice. Nike says, how can I solve my flat voice? That's a fantastic question. Flat voice. I am actually creating a web application where you can train your voice to be perfectly on pitch. Okay? It's probably going to be coming out in the next maybe a couple of months but I got some developers creating it right now and I've been beta testing it with students it works so good guys it helps you to actually see your voice so that you don't sing flat or sharp it helps you see your voice and it help it plays notes for you at, while you're hearing your voice so that you can match your voice to the notes and it tells you where you are on a chart in real time it's gonna be very effective for you guys okay 
I've created it for people that can't tell, that, that can't match a note properly. Because there's beginners that I put in this category and intermediates, they sometimes need it, but beginners especially really need it because they struggle to match a note. And it does take a lot of time in lessons trying to tell you how to match a note. So I created it as a tool to use in lessons so students could learn to do it more autonomously by yourself. So how do you do it now without a tool like that? You just have to learn to press a note on a piano and try to match it. You sing one note at a time. So the, the thing, difficult thing about singing is a song goes so fast, you know. Darling, I, I can't explain Where do we lose our way? It's like 15 to 20 notes and they happen like that, you know, in a couple seconds. So the thing is, you have to go slow enough to sing one note accurately at a time. Da, you got to get that note first right. Darling, I, See, I'm demonstrating. You got to be able to sing each one of those notes perfectly right, and then you have to add them all together. So it's really, really hard to do. And most people take for granted how hard that is to do. So the way to do it is to take one note at a time. Okay, I'm also writing a book full of exercises and strategies that you can use with the Pitch Trainer app that I'm creating, with the web app. So that you can understand the importance for beginners and intermediates, how important it is to get every note just right. And even for advanced people, you know, for advanced people that want to learn like crazy uh, runs, for example, like what I'm just demonstrating, then I, or they want to learn longer ones, you know, come back to me. Like, that's a whole bunch of notes, right? So what I do, what I'll do is teach you how to be able to take long sequences of notes and use a trainer, a pitch trainer, to help you learn all of them. Because you can use a pitch trainer to learn one note at a time. And that's the key, really, to learn one note at a time and then build it up. Mark, thanks, coach. You're welcome, bro. Nebuka says, what do you mean flat voicing off key? No, flat voice... It's a bit different off-key, though they have a similar overlap. Off-key means you're singing the completely wrong note. So if I say sing, darling, I, and you go, darling, I, that's singing wrong notes. But flat means you're singing the right note, but sometimes you're just a tiny bit under. Da, da, darling, I, so I'll go, da, say I'm going, da, 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 just a tiny bit under it. That will be a flat note. But sometimes it's referred to as off-key as well because there's an overlap, you know. When you're singing off-key, you're also not on the note. So people might say you're flat or sharp. No one says, I was just about to mention that bounce run from Dimash. I'm practically on practicing that. Great, so hard, but worth a try. It is, it's so hard, but it's worth it. It will take dozens of sessions before you start getting somewhere. So be persistent. Ooh, he does a few different ones. So that one is different from the next one, what he does. Ooh, it's a bit different to... Hello. Ooh, it's a bit different from... Ooh, so the patterns are slightly different sometimes. Hi, coach. Can you... Jet says, can you please invite me? by Daryl Ong in one-on-one -on -one voice session. <laughs> Same with what you did with Jay, I would really appreciate that. I will try, I will try. I just need to um, check out my timing and see if he's available. Bye coach, I'm getting back to my work. Thank you Clementine for joining. Save this live video, it will get saved, Renzo. Hi from Euro guys, pleasure to see you. You're great to see you too, Alejandra. My book are nice, thank you. Galing, I know, right, Belena? Hi, Guliku. Got some style in there, bro. He's crazy, man.
Looks like a storm is brewing, yep. But now the sun's coming out, yay! Sun is coming. Bow, bow, bow. Yes, I will do more JR reactions. Hey, Amand. Amand's one of my students. Beautiful voice, Amand has. Beautiful voice. Doesn't know what he's got. A lot of the people with great voices don't realize how good they actually are and how lucky they are. But, you know, he wants to get better. Aman wants to get better, so he's working hard. He's working really hard to get better than he is. Jet says, hi, I have this technique that I'm trying to master. I heard this technique from Brian McKnight. He usually uses his jaw to make descending runs. Can you tell me if it's okay to pursue it? Yes, 100%. Anything coming out of Brian McKnight's mouth is uh, very, very good to do. He does move his jaw a lot, right? I'm, uh, my friend sent me, one of my friend's students, sent me a run. Oh, I got Rolando's email, great. One of my friends sent me a run by Brian McKnight from anytime, but it's live. Check it out, it's crazy. And I learned it. Watch my jaw when I do it. My jaw moves like crazy because he's fast. See my jaw? Watch. I think I got some of it wrong. But you guys get the idea. What's the original one? That's the original one, and then that one's like a big change. See how my jaw moves? Ariana Grande's jaw moves. Not every artist's jaw moves when they do runs, but um, these guys do, and I don't think there's anything wrong, as long as the run sounds super clear. That's the important part, the sound. So definitely pursue it. Okay. The rooster, I know, right? Let me, let me have a look at Rolando. What's he got for me here? Okay, he's got a question. No attachment. Hi, sir. I have a serious problem about my singing in my range. Did you want me to read this public, Rolando? Or is it because you are leaving the chat? I'm not sure if he wants me to read this public, but it doesn't sound like a big issue. He's just saying what he said pretty much in the chat. Hope you can share some advices. He's saying his range is D2 to E4, but he can falsetto and hit turn higher, but he idolizes JR, but he can't hit it in a normal full voice. Yeah, great. So I recommend, Rolando, that you watch what I just did with Yeltsin and take that advice I did there because that's exactly what you need to do. Now, there's so many ways to improve your range. There's so many ways. You can use exercises. You can use scales. You can use song-based training. You can use going down in key and then going up. You could use long note holds. You can use shorter note holds. You can use staccato notes. There's so many ways. All right, and I'm writing all of these in my book so that they're all written out in one way and I'm creating the exercises to help you do it. But um, the short message I can give you is don't quit, you know, and uh, look at look at the strategies that I gave Yodzen in this live. Nice tip for range. I like that. I'll take that. Great, Nebuku. That rooster's transition from chest to full center is on point. <laughs> I love it. It was so loud, right? Ruben, yes. You have to mold your vocal cords according. That's it. I love that. Mold your vocal cords. I love that Ruben Ordonez. There's a feeling that you have to, you, you learn to get. So one, you strengthen what you have by doing the note holds. And two, you learn to create the new notes by touching on them slightly in a way that you can at least get them without fully breaking. Okay. For example, I'm learning to sing uh, this. Where is it? It's a Pavarotti one. <clears throat> it's a really high, it's a high B held for a very long time. And as I was learning it, my voice was cracking. Maybe not uh, like that kind of cracking, but cracking as in uh, like getting 
disappearing almost you know what i mean going into falsetto like involuntarily but now after a few weeks of doing it in a many many draw in many way training it in many ways now i can hold it the whole way through so it's an example of how if you can't touch a note it doesn't mean you're never going to touch that note it just means you need to you know modify it so let me let me show you the note i probably can't do it now because my voice is tired from talking and whatever but i'll show you let me exit the meeting not gonna have time for another lesson okay really long right so that's it <clears throat> before I could never touch that like before by before I mean a couple of weeks ago I've been working on this really hard but yeah yeah for example right um, I could go a little bit louder possibly but I couldn't do that before that wasn't falsetto right it's not yeah that's falsetto but yeah which I've also been working on because that's like hard in its own way. Now, doing that, like that took so much work, but my point is it sounded crackly in the beginning and I couldn't even actually go into it. I would just break. But yeah, 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 that would happen. <laughs> this is, a, I probably started this about two months ago on a crusade to get this, all right? So maybe like sometime then then it became I could hit it for like two seconds, and but I couldn't do vibrato on it, and then it became I could do some vibrato I could hold it for four seconds. Then it became, hey I could hold it but then I would crackle at around six seconds. So then it became I could do it but I couldn't do the vibrato that fast. Then I worked on the vibrato, so I worked on this in so many ways to create what it is right now. So I just want to show you like, there's hope. Don't think that you can't do it. I developed it in two months, but I've been doing a lot of range work before that. That's probably helped it to get there. You know what I mean? So it might take six months, it might take a year, it might take two years. It doesn't matter. The, the, what matters is that there's gradual progress. And gradual progress means you have some type of strategies that you're using and you're regularly doing it. So what I showed Yeltsin today was two strategies, I think. Two or three strategies. So it's important to continuously practice that it's important maybe keep it i'm keeping a log of my practice right <clears throat> and this and my students practice and this really helps to be like hey how many times have i actually practiced this so every time i do about three to five minutes i do one tick on my log all right look at my logs there's a there's a lot of ticks there every time there's 50 there 50 ticks every time i reach the 50 i write 50 in a little box and then i clear it out and I start it again so I know because I know it takes 50 sessions to see a decent progress and man it's exactly right I do 50 sessions of range I see decent progress on this range here I've got 50 in the box and I've got 22 ticked out which means I've done 72 sessions of approximately three to five minute practices on my vocal range on getting higher on singing high notes 72 i think i started this nearly two months ago that's crazy right can you say that for yourself have you done that much i'm sure you don't know you probably don't remember right so it's great to use a tool like this i use this with my students this is how we track progress okay i think it's extremely important and i found it as a very useful tool to help me stay motivated hey i've done like um i've done 50 plus 45 i've done 95 sessions on runs so my runs keep getting better right i've done 90 sessions on pitch so sometimes there's notes that i don't hit properly um like maybe key changes or chromatic so i've done a lot of that i've done uh, 45 sessions on vibrato hey i never said it out loud like this that's pretty cool so yeah really important okay to measure I love the extra runs. Yeah, Nebuka is crazy. Yeltsin says, Coach, thanks for short vocal coaching. I appreciate it a lot. You're welcome, man. You're amazing. Thank you for the lovely singing. I want to ask one question. Is it okay if I'll put a slide on the tail? Yes, 100%. Listen to Wanye in slow motion and see if he does. He might. But you definitely can 
put a slide. Can somebody tell, tell? But it just might be the same note as the body, so it might not make a big difference. You know what I mean? Listen to what Wanye does. But use the piano, man. Use the piano. It'll help. The one. Can you cover a Filipino song by Satpar wherever you are? Okay. <laughs> Send it to my email so I don't forget, bro. Yotsun. That's my sibling rooster. All good, man. As long as we did it, that's the important part. Yeah, the audio was a bit choppy. That's probably why. Uh, I'm on fire. Rashad, I'm finally getting down. Yes! Killing it, bro. Well done. Silly question. Imitating animal voices. Uh... It's not a silly question because I know a lot of vocal coaches do this kind of thing. I do like it as a way to help you find a part in your voice that maybe you're not used to using. So some people aren't used to accessing the falsetto. So telling them to talk like a baby, oh, oh, yeah, like it can help you to find that part of your voice. Um, but that's it. That's where I think those exercises, the usefulness ends. Like that helps you find your blend, maybe, you know? They don't always work, by the way. There's more detailed ways of finding your range, but they're complicated and they usually involve a teacher one-on-one, -on -one, right? That's why teachers use these kinds of things because they help you find your range on your own, that kind of thing. Um, yes, I do agree with it as a way to help you find something that you can't find it, but it's very prelimin preliminary, it's very very introductory sort of starting point all right ideally when you do an exercise there's more complicated it's more complicated it's like you want to you want to try to use a complex exercise where you just match a note with your normal sound not with an animal sound but if you find that's a helpful transition point for you to find your normal sound good you know up to you but um, I find it, it might be helpful to help you find a sound that you're not used to finding. You know, so some people f find it hard to find like a deep sound. So I'd be like, think of opera, <laughs> like it helps them find a deep sound. You know, some people find it hard to be loud. So I tell them, you know, imagine that you're yelling out to someone across a football field, or you're trying to fill the room with your voice, or you're yelling at someone you're angry at. How do you do it? You know? So it's good to use visualizations like animals and that kind of stuff. Favorite song of JR? I love his Kamustaka album. I actually love all the songs. I love all of them. I don't have a favorite. I tend to sing Kamustaka a lot. I tend to like sing along to that a lot. Kabilandako, Makit Baba. Obviously, I'm working a lot on Bikit Papa. What's your view on vocals deteriorating with age? Yeah, when he sounds like he's getting better, right? Tank as well, Brian McKnight, they all sound like they're getting better. So I don't really know if you deteriorate or it's just a matter of people don't train as much when they get older. Ah, okay, I'm gonna have to hear that. Please email that to me, the one. The Nyayo Naririto. No one else comes close, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can kill the runs in that, bro. Come on. You're welcome, Rolando. You still on? Great. <laughs> My perfect studio debut. Yeah, Yeltsin, you can help me with that. That's a good point. I didn't think of that. Good idea. Thanks, guys. Which app will be best for vocal exercises? Um, I don't know. I don't... I, d I don't know. I've looked at the apps, uh, several apps, but I don't remember their names. Sorry. So you experiment and see what you like. That's what I recommend. But I'm creating one, guys, so make sure you support and get my one. 
because my one's a little different from the ones that are already out there. That's, I intentionally made one that was not already available because if there was one already available, you know, I wouldn't have spent almost $3,000, which I did, to create the one I created. Jet says, best vocal warm-up. Um, yeah, warming up. If I have a slow vibrato coming out. Okay. Oh, sorry, can you recommend any vibrato warm up? Vibrato warm up? Maybe you could do it slow and then gradually get faster. That's You could do that. So take a piece of vibrato from a song, do it in slow motion, and then make it faster gradually. Um, other than that, you could use a metronome and then gradually get faster. And other than that, you could do vibrato on a scale or, or low. So you'd be like... Uh, try to go faster do that practicing runs is copying police sirens um, Ruben says I don't practice police sirens that's not how I learn runs so I'm not sure how police sirens is gonna develop runs I know because the siren is usually a slide. So siren is like Ooh. If anything they use that to help find the range. But runs are like precise hitting of notes. So I don't see how a police siren would be useful. Uh, uh, so you see how like a run has a more step-like fashion so I, I don't know how that would help I'm not sure what she means by that my app released um, it's hopefully gonna fi be finished in two weeks in two or three weeks but um, I have to also figure out like th there's a book that I want to make that comes with it and I've done like all pieces of the book, about 40 pages of exercises. So it's, and the, but I need to like complete it. So I need to sort of make it more like step one, step two, that kind of thing. And make it more like, um, have like logs that you can tick off, that kind of thing. So I'm still working on it. I don't know how long that will take, but I might release a version, version that doesn't have the book. Or has, a lim or has a preliminary version of the book first. A lot of people say singing has a lot to do with your mentality. <clears throat> uh, in the sense that it takes hard work and persistence in that, that's the mentality side. But the skill side is not so much mentality. The skill side is like, it's a vocal exercise. But, you know, you have to have the mentality to do the vocal exercising regularly. So it's sort of a combination of the two. Okay, guys, I'm about to go. I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for being part of it. Thanks, Yeltsin, for being part of that and sharing your beautiful voice and, and uh, sharing and doing a lesson with me. Maybe next time you can help me with my pronunciation on uh, Baki Papa. See you next time.